She's in the Thank you. Ready? Yeah, ready for the Oh, okay. So, say we weren't the only ones. <laughs> I heard that some F train doesn't work, you know, so you guys made it really difficult to get here. So I'm so pleased, you know, to see so many people here. We have 21 different kinds of kimchi here. I guess. Yeah. yeah, she's she's the head honcho right here. This is the she's the. Well, we have a title for our kimchi. It's called. Summer lovin'. Kimchi lovin'. Love. Kimchi lovin'. Kimchi lovin'. Summer of 69. Uh, we started in 69. <laughs> the recipe is, I guess one summer my mom was like, well, the only cabbage they have here is green cabbage. So she experimented a little and came up with this cabbage, which is, I mean, kimchi, which is pretty, uh, pretty refreshing, actually. I hope the judges like it, and I hope other people like it. It's pretty unique. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and they're going straight through the without uh, the free crackers. <laughs> um, helps. I made uh, I made a basic uh, Napa cabbage kimchi. I've tried from the basic mangchi recipe to to adding more things or more different ingredients, whether it be like fruits or whether it be like more fresh peppers instead of just the dried chili flakes. Hopefully this batch is the, you know the most the most tasty. I tasted 20 kimchi's today, actually 21, um, and they were amazing. All, all of them tasted really great, and it's great to know that there are great cooks out there. I loved um, two in particular. I like number one uh, and like number 15. They were both had a great combination of spices. I love really crunchy vegetables in them. Um, I like it to be a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. Um, anything that basically you could eat all day with rice is what I'm looking for. And in the end, I liked one of the two just a little bit better, but they were both great. Uh, I'm here representing Ashi brand. Uh, Ashi is a very well established Korean brand here in the United States. Uh, we carry a full line of Korean food products and we distribute all over the world. Actually, I'm a personal fan of Mangchi and my wife, who's around here somewhere, she reads Mangchi's blog. We're both second generation Koreans and uh, we stumbled upon Mangchi's site uh, looking for recipes and uh, I just became a fan that way. Uh, you know, yeah. I'm just really glad that I could be here to sponsor this event. Yeah, I really you. love Monkey's site and I'm glad that uh, our company can be a part of that. Gonna yell it out, but. <laughs> Beautiful. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm uh, Mark Matsumoto from NoRecipes.com and I made uh, watermelon rind kimchi. Uh, I just made it up. <laughs> I like number six because it had that slightly fermented flavor that's really good with soup. So I think you have the most untraditional kimchi. Although there's one made with like, somebody made one with like regular cabbage. That was kind of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Rebellious. Okay. <laughs> 
And the reason we came to this great kimchi contest today is because right now the Asian food trend is really a hot trend here in the United States. Korean food is just arriving on the scene. We're arriving a little bit late on the scene. Korean food is just so good for you. It has such a wide variety of flavors and different new tastes that you've probably never tasted before. I was quite surprised at uh, what some of our contestants were able to do. I think number five was my favorite. Five. It had more of a real authentic Korean taste uh, out of the ones I've tasted. <laughs> My name is Naya and I'm a representative for Sempil today. We brought um, a brown rice vinegar and so a very good beverage for people, it helps detoxify your system. We use very simple but high quality products. Third place is a 12. Yay! I had spoken to the two women that made it and they said that it was a newer kimchi and um, so the, uh, the vegetables were still really vibrant and fresh and the presentation was beautiful because they're great knife skills and um, so you know your eyes eat first so <laughs> it was great to look at and then it also had great flavor great flavor balance the right amount of you know that tanginess that you want to that you want to dig into the yeah, second place is a 15 Woo! 15 Yay. Yay! And people's choice, number five. Yay. Number oh, five. Number one was great. It was the first one we tasted, so right out of the box we were like, oh, this is great. And then, you know, they went up and down in quality and different, uh, you know, criteria. And uh, I went back to one and retasted it at the end after doing the other 20 entries. And uh, it, it remained for me really good. It was crunchy, it was a good balance of spicy, and gingery, and garlicky, and everything was delicious. So I think he earned the crown. More than anything else, I've been using different and more fresher and, and uh, better ingredients. Instead of using onions, I'll, I'll use like shallots. And there's also the salting and you know what kind of salt you use, whether it be sea salt or normal salt, uh, how long you let it sit in room temperature after you finish the batch. There's some secrets that I can't tell you that I've slowly figured out, you know, through trial and error. <laughs> First winner is Winnie! Oh, wow. oh, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations! Oh, Winnie. Nice. Awesome. The second winner is Jenny! Jenny! Oh. The third raffle winner is Christian! Yay! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> And our final <laughs> raffle winner is Ashley Gibbs. Oh, yeah. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we have a lot of rice left, oh so we are going to do between the raffle. <laughs> 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 oh my god, it's hot. Oh my god. That's a huge oh, bag of pepper? Oh, it's never a huge peachy. bag of Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, now. <laughs> I thought it was like a pinky. Oh my god, well, how long is it going to take for me to finish? What is the name of the great website that brought us all together here today?
<laughs> and we raised three hundred and forty dollars for charity. Today. Oh. The money is going to charity, thanks to the sponsors and, the, and also your contribution. Okay.